Welcome to Nguru the Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress site on AWS using LightSail in just three steps. So we're going to set up the LightSail on AWS and then we're going to set up our domain and then I'm going to show you a few other things and we're done. So make sure you have an AWS account, just log in and then on login, go to services, log in into your AWS console. There you're going to find all the services. You can see analytics, application integration, all that. But we want to go to compute because that is where LightSail is. You can see AWS app runner, EC2, Lambda. Here you can see you have instances. I already have one instance, but I'm going to show you how to create a new one. I do not have any containers. I do not have any databases. I'm not done. The networking is the IPs and all that. The domains, I'm not going to configure my DNS here. I'm going to use the DNS provider or the domain provider that I got my domain from. So I'll go back to instances and I want to create an instance. So on this, you can choose uh, the location you want. So for me, it has chosen uh, Virginia. So I'm just going to leave it as that. And then the platform, I'm going to use Linux. I do not want to use Windows and then Select the apps plus OS, not the OS only. The OS only will only give you the Linux, but the app plus OS will give you WordPress and the Linux OS. So you have to note that it uses Bitnami. So this is a Bitnami WordPress image. So that is what we are going to use. So it was worth noting that. And then after that, we have a launch script. We have an SSH key, so we'll need this. So let's create one. So I'll just remove this. Yes, delete. Let me create a new one here. So create, I'll call it uh, new. Let's call it new. Create. Then you have to download it because it will not offer you the chance again. So, okay. And close it there. And then they have uh, three plans that are free. So you can just take the 10 USD one. You have three months free. So you can be able to experiment and do what you want with it. So for address, I'll call this uh, new. Then I just create my instance. So it will take some time to uh, already in use. So I'll use a new WordPress. I'll create that. So it will get created here. And as it gets created, let's just give it a few moments. It shouldn't take that long. So we're back guys, it is running now and you can see it's running, it's written there, new WordPress. And then you can see it running at the bottom there. So we go ahead and click on it because we want to access it. But before I click on it, I can just show you, you can access the console using this, or you can click on it and you'll see connect with SSH. So there are a few things that we need to change. For the IP, I want to give it a static IP address. So let me go to networking and attach a static IP to new WordPress. New WordPress IP. Can use that create and attach because this is the ip address that i'll use for my domain so continue so that is that so i've been given 52.206.254.296 so that is the ip address that i have been given so with that you can go back let me show you how you can connect to your instance so you can either connect through this or the one that i showed you earlier so click, click the connect with SSH. That should load up a new window. Yeah, so connecting all that. So this one should just, oh, I need to reload. Let's try in a few minutes. Let's reload. Should now connect. So let's see if it does the job. Yeah, it should be right if you see that. Yeah, and uh, there you go. So it's right. You can see you can access your Bitnami or your WordPress site through this. 
So I'm going to close that or you can use Visual Studio Code. So this is Visual Studio. All I need is a terminal. And then you go to the folder where you have downloaded your key. So remember ours was called, ours was called uh, new. So first of all, I need to change let's see if it works without changing the permission so mine is called new no this is not the folder i did not change the folder so download i was waiting for it to tab so let's search i need the i then it's called new upm and then now it always have the username bitnami at and then what was our IP address? This is the IP. So I copy the IP address. Then I go back. Then I just paste it there. So this should work. Yes. See, it has an issue. We changed the permission, but it has it works well. But if you're using another server, I believe it will have an issue, and you'll have to change mode to 400 for it to work. So those are the two ways you can access your instance. So with that done, let us go ahead and create the domain and then give it this IP address so that it will have propagated by the time that we are back. So I use Reseller Club for my domain. So I'll just go there and add a new a record. Then this will be www.new.judiso.com. IP address is that. Time to live, give the shortest available. Save. Then go ahead and create new dot judiso.com with the IP address and then uh, time to live. Let's give two hours and save that. So we should have our two domains uh, new dot judiso.com and www dot new dot judiso.com. So that is that. So we go back to the terminal and access. Let's access. Let's access. So we still have uh, Binami logged in there, and you access the files from opt opt and then slash Binami. That is where you should get all your address files. You can see Apache. You can see Apache two. Bnsat. This is what we we'll use for our SSL uh, and Bnsat tool. That is what we we'll use. And then you can see you have WordPress, WordPress CLI, you have PHP, my admin. I'm going to show you how to uh, reverse uh, proxy into or reverse SSL tunnel into your database. So I'm going to show you all that. So with that, we now have the, the where we can access the files. So let's go ahead and uh, put in our domain. Let's check if our domain has in checker let's see if the domain has propagated so that we can be able to access from that new dot .com. yeah so you can see the domain has propagated this is dns checker you can use that so let's go ahead let's go back to the terminal and now create our SSL certificate so that we are going to be able to access the site because the site is already live because Bitnami has the image that we can we can use and we have already added that with the OS. So sudo, we can go to slash opt Bitnami and then slash bnsat bnsat tool bnsat tool. And just click on it so it will probably give you an update and then you're able to add your certificate in by retrying the command again but let's see so yeah it tells you an updated version is available so update it just press yes or y and then now run the command again just press the upward arrow and be able to run the command again so let's see because ahead give us the domain list so we have www.new.diesel.com. It should be separated and then new.diesel.com. Then we 
refresh that let's see if the domains have already propagated it will go through so enable http to https redirection you say yes to that enable none www to www redirection no i believe so enable www to none www because we want www.new.jodiso.com to go to new.jodiso.com so we'll say yes to that and then you can check the changes stop the web server configure all that just say yes to that email address i just give my email address okay yeah. You agree to, yeah, you agree to because it gets the certificates from Satbot or Let's Encrypt. I have to say, Let's Encrypt. This is a free, free service, so they're able to get it for you and it will always renew it every month. So you'll not have to worry about the certificate renewal. They'll do that for you every month. So let's give it time. It will be back once the certificate has been given. Yeah, so you can see that has been done. So press enter and that is that. So now if I go to new, new dot biso .com, should be able to access our WordPress site. So let's see yeah and should have the key here so you should see that so you can see this is a simple hello world so it uses the 2021 20, one so these are i'm going to show you how where you can get that so we have that so how do we access the admin panel for wordpress so you just have to add wp admin there and you're able to access so you can see now the the wp admin has loaded up and we need a username and we need a password so where do we find this go ahead to ubitnami and clear this let me just clear that so we were on opt bitnami but that is not where you find the credentials the credentials will be on you just see the out of it or you you have that So you'll be on home with Nami and then from here just cd and you or ls and you're going to be able to see the the credentials so i can just cut uh, one of them here with Nami credentials and see so you can see the default username and password is so user and this is a password so we copy that remember me and login so now you should go to the wordpress site so let's say the dashboard for, for wordpress and here is the dashboard so you can see on the dashboard you have welcome to wordpress on this side you have posts media pages the theme that is currently running is on appearance you go to appearance and then themes Yeah, and you can see we're using theme 2022 and these ones are given free by wordpress so you can just add your own so after after having this you might be asking yourself how do i access my database you remember i showed you a file on php my admin on my terminal so let me just go back to that so cd opt bitnami and here remember we showed or php my admin so this is a folder that contains the database so how do we access this database so let's reverse tunnel into our local host so with that you just have to do ssh let me open a new terminal because i do not need to be in the database or in the in the server to access that so let's go to where we have our pem key downloads so ssh we have, 
load we have what what we want to use 888 and we want 127.0.0.1 then what puts the key that is why it is running and then we have now the pm key new remember that is the name we gave it so this is how you reverse panel into into the php my admin and then apt need my ip address from let's say let's go copy that then come back here and put it in so with that if i go into my browser at 127.0.0 should be able to access my database so let's see if it loads into it localhost 8888 so you can see up there loading php my admin and then remember the password will be root and then the username will be root and then let's try get the password so ensure it's running if it's if for example i go and stop it that way and come back here it will not be available because the reverse tunnel is not there but if i come back and relaunch it and go back and refresh you can see it's refreshing let's see let's refresh it hasn't come up so let me put just okay so let's see it's running but oh it's coming up yeah that is that so the root then the password let's just copy it so here we go to cd and then uls and cut I believe it should be this one this is the password to the db just login and you can see bitnami here bitnami wordpress then you go into it you'll be able to see your tables so these are the tables in our wordpress site 12 tables and that is that guys so we have showed you first of all how to create an aws light sale account then we have given it a wordpress plus os so we have the wordpress installed using bitnami and then we have given it a ip that is a static ip so that when it restarts it doesn't lose the ip and the domain doesn't face any issues and then we added our domains remember that we were able to access and then we had our site live so you can see it uh, you can see this is the dashboard and then we have reverse tunneled to show you where the database is located so that is it guys please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye